Hey, how you doing? It's Cream here with a book recommendation for you today. I've recently started listening to a book I bought on Audible called The One Thing, The Simple Truth Behind Extraordinary Results, and it's by Jay Papasan and Gary Keller. So the gist of this book is to really help people to identify what their one thing is that they need to be focusing on at any given time, because extraordinary results follows extreme focus and clarity. So one of the the, um, the myths that this book uh, tries to explode um, from the get-go and does very effectively is the myth of multitasking is good. Now everyone thinks that multitasking is good and we can all fall into it in the workplace or if you're working at home, especially if you're working online, there's so many distractions in the workplace, you're pulled in many different directions and you're actually praised for multitasking. But scientists have shown that the, the brain is built um, in a way that does not favour multitasking. It's not possible to focus on two um, very important tasks at the same time effectively. Uh, just try uh, making a phone call and driving. Don't try it. In fact, it's it's dangerous. You know, uh, checking your emails while watching film. You're gonna miss something. Uh, emotionally, it leads to stress if you try and multitask. So, getting back to the, the the fundamental purpose of the book, it says, what is your one driving passion in life? Put it another way, if you were to only achieve one thing in this lifetime, what would that be? Now once you identify that, or at least get a good general idea, you can start working backwards. So what is the, the one thing you really need to achieve in the next five years, uh, the next year, this month, uh, this week, and what's the one thing that you need to achieve today? Now since I've started listening to this, it makes so much sense, because if you can identify that as it says, the domino effect happens from there. It's like the massive domino that just knocks all the other uh, minor dominoes um, down in this beautiful pattern or whatever way you want to visualize that but essentially the one thing that you identify is your driving force now you just got to look at companies that have done that like Apple focused on the Mac then it became the iMac then it became uh, the iPod and the iPad and it's just really been one kit core product you know, you think of a PC and it's, you know, a very different set of affairs, you know, but Mac, you know, it's very defined and that has been the, the, the cause of its huge um, growth. You know, if you identify the one thing in your life, uh, what you need to be doing right now in this given moment, you will just cut through all the to-do lists, you'll know exactly what it is you need to do and then take it from there. So if you do one thing at a time, uh, you will start achieving extraordinary results according to this book. The other myth that it, it uh, destroys in this book is the myth of being really, really disciplined. We think to be successful we have to be so super disciplined. Well, it really reassures you that that's not really the case. By looking at athletes to successful business people, they're not highly disciplined. What they, but what they have chosen is to form the right habits. So it's being disciplined to a point. It's being disciplined enough to develop the right habits that uh, take you through, propel you through uh, to success. And the other thing is a balanced life. Everyone talks about having a balanced life. Well, that's a myth according to this book. I'm a parent. If there's any parents watching, you'll know that it's very difficult to, to lead a balanced life sometimes. If you're running a business, there's sometimes when you just got to go all out. Um, what's more important is purpose, meaning. Purpose and meaning. So if you have purpose and meaning behind your actions, that is way more important than trying to balance everything out. In fact, the more you go for balance, the more elusive it becomes. Um, so I'll leave you with that. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Again, the one thing, but it's definitely inspiring me. It's helping me just cut through all those to-do lists, cut through the clutter, get to the core of it, and uh, I, I'm sure you'll, you'll find it inspiring too. So yes, what's the one thing that you really need to do today? Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.